Hello and welcome to this instructional video on Vericut. Um, this video is going to show you how to use the AutoDiff feature in Vericut to compare the results of your program to the design that you're trying to achieve. Um, so what you see in front of you is um, an example of a part. This is actually is one of your labs, um, lab 4, the second setup. Um, what you can see on the screen in front of you are um, is the Kurt Weiss that holds the part in gold is the workpiece that you're going to be machining with your program and you can see in purple shining true or showing true the designed part. Um, when you first run your program it's probably a good idea to, to temporarily hide the design part. Um, it's a bit confusing when the design part shows through the workpiece to actually see if material is being left or if you're gouging the, um, the part. So I'm going to come across here to the project tree and the way you get to the design part is by expanding out your machine base, the y-axis, the x-axis, and eventually you come to the attach item. If you expand this out, you see the fixture, stock, and design. So I'm going to expand the design out, expand out the models, and then I'm going to hide by right-clicking on the design and clicking visible the design and you can see from the screen that the purple color disappears so it's temporarily hidden. What I'm going to do now is simulate the program. Um, you can see that there's a program loaded in here. I'm going to go ahead and simulate this. So it's going to run through the program, remove material, and I've deliberately put a couple of errors into the program so that I can demonstrate the AutoDiff feature. Now since you're familiar with this part, um, you'll see right away that there are there's a pretty big error here which is the position of these two pockets. These should be centered on the holes, um, so they're shifted out in order to demonstrate um, the use of this tool. Um, in order for the order diff feature to work, you have to make sure, though, that your workpiece is visible. So I'm going to go back, sorry, not the workpiece, the design is visible. So I'm going to come back over here, right-click on the, the design and make it visible. Now you can see right away how confusing this is. If you were to have the design visible, and now look at the result. it's not clear that the part has been gouged. You may believe that material has been left, which is true, but the gouging on this side is not evident because the design is is overlapping that. So that's why it's it's a good idea to hide the design before you do your simulation. But as I said, it needs to be visible for you to do the auto diff function. Now the auto diff function is up here on your top toolbar. If you slide across, sorry not that one, you'll eventually come to the auto diff, the hint um, note shows you which tool it is. I'm going to click on this. Uh, the auto diff function has um, a couple of options for comparing. There's a solid comparison option, surface comparison, and then there are a few others for com comparing curve type machining. In this example, and for most of what you will do in, in, in this class, um, the solid comparison um, tool is appropriate. Um, the type of comparison, you can do both, meaning that the comparison will show both excess material as well as gouge material, or you can just do one or the other, depending on what you're trying to look at. Down here you see that there are two colors, one red, which is used to show gouging, and blue, which is shows used to show excess. Uh, this uh, value in here is the tolerance, so the only time material shows up as being gouged is if you're more than four thousandths into the design, and the only time material shows up as being in excess is if you're over four thousandths outside the design. So I'm going to go ahead and compare by clicking on the compare button, and you can see right away in this window that um, the auto diff feature correctly identifies the excess material that was left due to the shifted pocket as well as the material that was gouged on the other side on both of the pockets. Uh, you also see too that there is another error in terms of the depth of the hole. So the drill that drilled out the holes went deeper, so there's a gouge on both of the holes. Um, this other material here represents um, what happens when treads are machined. So with Vericut, there's no way to actually do a, f a helical tread. Um, basically the large damage of the tap just removes material um, that is left in the design. Typically the design will have the smaller um, minor diameter sized hole in it in the CAD model. 
So this really isn't an error, but it shows you that the tapping operation is removing material. So I recommend strongly that um, when you do your programming, after you've run your program, to go ahead and use the Autodiff feature, because this will show you if you have an error. And then, of course, you need to go and take corrective action by going to your program and making the changes that eliminate those errors. So I hope this is helpful to you in preparing your assignments.